Asian candy stands out due to its nature, taste, and ingredients when compared to the sweets of the rest of the world. Since Asia is an extraordinary continent, it's not surprising that people from Western countries consider Asian candy something exotic. Therefore, the Asian confectionery industry is like a whole new world, where everything is far from what we are used to. Asia is very diverse and is a mix of different cultures and traditions. China, India, Japan, Turkey, South Korea, Indonesia, and 42 other countries create this uniqueness. Every step of the way, there are treats made from rice or rice flour. Tamarind and rose water are cherished and loved here and many more. Let's travel to an Asian sweet adventure. A brief history of Asian candy. The word candy comes from ancient Indian Sanskrit. A piece of sugar was called kanda. After some time, the Arabic version presented the word kandi. Candy actually started to be used in the late 13th century. Even though the first traces of sweet treats go back to Egypt, it is believed that the very first candies, which were a mixture of honey, fruits, or nuts, were invented in 250 AD in ancient India. In the 6th and 4th centuries BCE, it was discovered that Indians could make honey without bees. They have adopted the practice of making sugar from sugarcane. Pieces of sugar were produced by boiling the sugarcane juice. That's how Indians created chanda, the very first candy ever created. The sugar-making process was later spread to the whole Asian continent and was used by different countries. Legendary Chinese Treats in Asia When talking about Asian candy, it's hard to mention the local treats of China which fascinate people around the world. Surprisingly, before sugar was available, ancient Chinese people used honey to make the sweet treat. They even gave them different shapes. Dragon's Beard Candy Dragon's Beard Candy is also called Chinese Cotton Candy and is a great representation of Asian candy. Creating this treat has become an art form and a huge part of Chinese culture. This Asian candy is handmade. Even though it originated in China, it is very popular in Korea, Turkey, and Singapore too. Legend states that the candy was invented during the Han Dynasty by an imperial court chef. The process involved the stretching of the rice flour mixture into the thin threads. The threads looked like a dragon's beard and were very sticky. So, the emperor named it so. The dragon is also a symbol of the Chinese emperor. So, candy became an inseparable part of Chinese culture. Dragon's beard candy looks like cotton candy, however, they have some major differences. For example, it has a much lower amount of sugar and calories. Hot flakes. Hot flakes are Chinese sweets that consist of the fruit of hawthorn. The candy mostly comes in the form of a disc, which is 2 mm thick. It is packaged in cylindrical stacks. The taste of hot flakes is rather sweet and tangy. It goes very well with the tea. There is a practice in China that some people eat the candy with bitter herbal medicine to make the taste neutral. Candy is available in the Chinese market. There is another type of hot flakes, and that is gourmet hot flakes. They are larger in shape. The sugar level in the candy is very low in hot flakes, and it is also additive free, making it all healthy to eat. Dalgona Dalgona candy is also called poppy. Candy is made from melted sugar and baking soda. Dalgona has been a popular street snack since the 1970s and is regarded as one of the retro foods. The liquid of Dalgona is supposed to be poured into the patterned mold. After it hardens, it gets the shape. The fun part is to trim all the way around the outline of the picture without breaking it. In Korea, many kefes serve the treat as a pastry or dessert too. Pumpkin candy Pumpkin candy is especially popular in Korea during the winter. Candy consists of rice-based biscuits, which have a very light texture and are fluffy on the outside. They are wrapped individually. Mostly, the pumpkin powder comes with candy, which makes it more sweet and savory. The history of Asian candy is intertwined with cultural celebrations, rituals, and a love for using locally available ingredients. As these sweets have evolved over the centuries, they continue to play a significant role in the culinary landscape of Asia. That's it for today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, see you in the next video, goodbye.